Hello, my name's Adam Chop, and welcome to a IC3D Quick Start Bite. Today we'll be looking at a glass material. The first thing we'll want to do is start up our RAS renderer so we get a view of both sides, the OpenGL and our ray tracing. Once this generates our first image, we're going to go ahead and select our model, and we're going to go into our model data inside the object editor, and we're going to double click on the default material. The editor we've opened here is going to allow us to change the substrate of our material. And since by default it is going to be paper, we're going to open this up and change this over to a nice glass material. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and change the diffuse color, since this is giving us a nice gray look on our left side, and we're going to change this to a white. Our specular color will be next, and if you notice the asterisk around the specular color, this means that it's going to control the ray tracer for that substrate. So we're going to go ahead and change this also to a nice white. Now, if you're looking for something more of a colored glass material, the thing about glass inside of IC3D is for diffuse, that's where we're going to change for the OpenGL. So if we're, say, going for the classic blue look, we could change that over to blue. Our OpenGL will be blue, but our ray tracer will not. Now from here, our specular color is going to be next. And if we wanted to change that again to that nice blue color, tweaking this color, and I'm just dropping this to make it a tad darker, uh, maybe just a little lighter than that, and right around there. That should do it. And then, of course, I'm going to tweak the blue as well. There we go. We got that nice deep blue now. And now the trick here is we can actually take this color palette and we can drop it right on top of our custom colors. And then once we hit OK, we can head over to our diffuse to change that open GL. And we can quickly match that color. Shininess will control how much shine this bottle has on our open GL, but nothing on our uh, ray tracer. Now, the next thing we want to look at is our refraction. The more refraction we have, the shinier this bottle will be. Now, of course, if you increase refraction highly, as you can see, you can get very nice shine, but you'll also lose that inner refraction. So what I like to do is just keep it around 1.5-ish, maybe a little higher, a little less, depending on what your shot will be. And right around there, that should look good. Now from here, our transparency, since it doesn't have a asterisk there, we can control that with the OpenGL. That's just going to give us a little bit of a transparency on that left side to you know, simulate that glass look. When we have a nice material dialed in, it's everything is looking nice and sparkly, what we can do is we can then save this. So I'm going to hit Save As. Now, this is, will just allow me to continually use this nice blue glass material whenever I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as our blue glass. And we can actually save it in a category as well. So IC3D does come with a uh, set of materials. And so we should have a glass category. So that's where I'm going to go. IC3D glass right there. And then we're just going to hit save. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on glass materials.